everybody. Can you hear me? So we have different police officers here today. Um, they're not going to answer questions. Uh, we asked for a social so they could go around and you can walk up to them and ask questions. What I'm going to do is have them introduce themselves, tell you where they're from and what they do. So you know who's from your town or who can help you, so on and so forth. So at this time, I'm going to start with Adam Sokolowski here from Deerfield. Good morning. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. So remember, hydration is the key to success this week, right? All right. So um, I've been a police officer since 2003. I'm a graduate of Frontier Regional, Westfield State College, and GCC. Um, after I, start, I started policing in 2003 in the town of Gill, and I then came to Deerfield in 2008. I've been here, I've worked the midnight shift, the evening shift, and I'm currently assigned to days. I'm one of our supervisors. Um, I work closely with Chief Pachurk, Sergeant Ravish, and Sergeant Bartak. Sergeant Ravish and Sergeant Bartak are more involved in the triad and their scope of responsibilities than I am, but I'm always here during the day. One of our biggest resources, Deb, who's super friendly on the phone and in the office, she's over there still taking calls. Just remember, we're always here for you, 24-7, 365. You're never a bother to any of us. You can always call 911 for an emergency. You can call our local business line or you can shoot us an email. Links to all of us, including the chief, are on the town website. I have business cards with me. Um, no question is wrong. We run into scams all the time. Um, and we love to hear from you. Um, we understand that speeding is a big complaint. We have that. I've talked to people about our wonderful educational signboards that Sergeant Ruddick moves around town. Um, so we can, we can always take input from the community on where people want that stuff. And we're, we're here for you. Um, we would rather take a call about a question or if you see something out of place or, or you're worried about a scam or a phone call to give us a call, you know, anytime. So that's basically what, what we have. And as far as what we do in Deerfield, we run two officers 24-7, 365. So we always have someone on the road and available. It's not a lot. So we really can't spend a lot of time doing traffic enforcement on side streets or or when we're tied up with calls and stuff like that. So um, that's just where we are. Some people see us around a lot, especially if you're at the senior center, you come here, you see us all the time. We're in and out all the time because we're going to calls or we're going to court and this and that. And you might think that there's 15 of us working, but really there could be guys on road jobs. Could be, so there's only two of us really out here working. So. Thank you, Adam. Brian. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, my name is Brian Ravish. Uh, born and raised here in Deerfield. Um, Barb, she can attest, she kind of was like one of my moms on the street where I grew up. <laughs> Don't tell any stories now. So I uh, graduated, <laughs> graduated Frontier Regional High School uh, with the Deputy Chief of the Greenfield Police Department. We went off to uh, the island in Nantucket. We started our police career careers there. Um, I went my direction, uh, Chief Gordon went his direction. Uh, I am a supervisor here with the Deerfield Police Department. I've worked for the towns of Gill, Bernston, Hadley, uh, Sunderland, and uh, been here as a officer since 1992. I have um, several different things I do in the police department. Uh, I'm an instructor, trainer, uh, I teach at the police academy, but my main function here at Deerfield PD is I'm the school resource officer. Uh, I work in all five schools in the town of Deerfield. So Deerfield Elementary School, Frontier Regional High School, Deerfield Academy, Eagle Brook, and the Bement School. So I have every year about 2,400 children that I look out for, okay? So all five schools use me as a resource for all kinds of different various problems. It could be a problem with a student inside the school or it could be a problem with a student outside the school and he might just need that resource outside the school to maybe guide and assist him in his life or her life. Uh, so school children uh, is pretty much my focus at this point in my career. Um, it took me this long really 
to find kind of like my little niche in law enforcement. Uh, I was the first school resource officer that the town of Deerfield had. I wish when Chief Gordon and I were at Frontier Regional High School, we had a school resource officer that we could have went to for some guidance, um, whatever other problems we had going on in our lives back then, uh, it would have been very nice. Uh, besides just working with the children in the schools, uh, I'm also highly active in sports curriculums with them, uh, certified baseball umpire, uh, I've coached football at Frontier Regional High School in Deerfield Academy, and retired two years ago from coaching, but came out of retirement to uh, again coach at Frontier Regional. So thank you and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These are all Deerfield officers at this point. Hi, uh, good morning. Uh, my name is James Fitzgerald. I am a part-time officer with the department. I am originally from Buffalo, New York, um, and through different um, through different kind of avenues uh, in life, I uh, I ended up here. Um, I originally came here about 20 years ago to finish my degree at uh, at UMass, and I thought, you know, six months and I'll be good to go. I'll be out of here, back to the city. But then I discovered mountain biking, and then. <laughs> and then I, and then I, uh, mom biking and a girl. <laughs> so let's be honest, right? And then I stayed. So, <laughs> um, I, uh, I am a, I've been a, a, a fitness trainer for um, about 25 years. Um, COVID kind of took that away uh, with the gyms being closed and nobody training. So I was sitting around the house one day um, watching all the, good news that was on TV um, and thinking to myself well I was one of those people sitting around thinking well the world could use better police officers um, and then kind of put your money where their mouth is and join the Academy um, so I started at the department um, just this past April um, and um, working with uh, with chief in, in, in Sergeant Revis and, and uh, Sergeant Sokolowski and, and everyone else at the department um, it's been um, it's been it's really been good for me to kind of uh, find my uh, my path uh, in, in what I really wanted to do. I come from a military family. Uh, dad, three brothers, aunts, uncles, sisters, nieces, and nephews are all Air Force. Um, I chose a different path that involved girls. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, but finally, um, at this at, um, at at this kind of at point in my life, I finally got a chance to uh, to put on a uniform. Um, and my role and, and my purpose for being here as a, a police officer in Deerfield is to uh, is to just is, is to help and and everybody says you know that right and and you want to help people and, and you want to do a lot in, in the community and sometimes that does involve doing you know making hard decisions and, and, and doing hard things so part of that process is perhaps you know um, there's you know let's put it quite frankly there's a reason police stations have jail cells right so um, but we, we, we need them but for the most part, what I've learned uh, is that 90% of the people are really, really good, and the rest are, you know, good people that kind of get jammed up doing things that they shouldn't do, and, and that's why we're here. So we're here to just we're here to help people. Um, my I found my purpose is on the roads, you know, keeping keeping people safe from distracted drivers, keeping you know you're safe on the side streets, your kids, your pets, your grandkids. So I do a lot of I do a lot of my job is, is slowing cars down on the road, looking for distracted drivers, that sort of thing. So that's where I've kind of found um, found my purpose. And, and there's a lot as difficult as the job can be. There's a lot of joy in it, um, and, um, and and I, and I'm happy to be part of uh, the community. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Gary Sibilia. Um I became a police officer, and most of you were in your 30s or 20s. Come on, Gary, be nice. <laughs> so I, was, I, started my, I started my career in 1974 as a summer police officer in Martha's Vineyard in Negatown. I worked Jaws 1, Jaws 2, and from there I did six years on on Eggertown, and from there, a buddy and I went to Avon, Colorado, Beaver Creek Ski Area, and we started a police department out there. It was, uh, you know, I left there after two years and became a sergeant on Nantucket. 
I was there for uh, several years too. After that, I became uh, chief of police in Asheville. I came to Franklin County, and I was chief there for six, and I retired for after 16 years of chief in Northfield. So I have a lot of years of experience. Um, I was a resort cop for many years. It was a lot of fun. But I have to say one of the best police departments I've ever worked on is Deerfield. I've been here for 12 years. Deerfield's one of the best. Uh, you won't find a better, I mean, I've, you work in police departments where people don't talk to each other. This police department, everybody talks to each other. We all hang around together. We have a great relationship. And I'm very proud to work for the Deerfield Police Department. I think John Pachurik's one of the finest men I've known. He was chief in Irving when I was chief in Northfield. We've always been close, and uh, I have a lot of respect for this town and for the department. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Jim Savini, chief of police for the Wheatley Police Department. Uh, I was born when Gary started his career in the hospital. So that's how old he is. Or how young I am, I should Sorry, I should have said how young I am. 47 years. That's it. How old I am? 47. Um, so I started my law enforcement career back in 1997. Uh, I started as a uh, reserve officer for the, the uh, town of West Springfield. Grew up in West Springfield. No matter how, the one thing I learned being in this area, I've been in uh, Hatfield, Waitley area for 20 plus years. Uh, the one thing that I learned is I'll never be a native to this area. No matter how long I'm here, I've met people that have been in this area for 50, 60 years and they still aren't welcome as a native. So I'm always gonna be the city guy. Not that West Springfield's a big city, but I'm always gonna be the city guy. Um, so started in West Springfield, uh, did a short stint in Greenfield as a reserve officer um, when I moved up here in 99, 2000, and then started in the Waitley Police Department. I've been with the Waitley Police Department uh, since 2000. Um, we are a smaller department. Deerfield has the, the luxury of having multiple um, sergeants, full-time officers, things like that. We have two full-time officers, and then there's 10 part-time officers. So most of the duties that you hear other people talking about are shared between myself and my sergeant. So, so, so we're kind of the one or two man show, so to speak. Um, our part-timers, they, they work more or less the weekend shifts, um, and they cover when we're not around but they do most of the traffic enforcement and things like that where we're doing the community events and, and running, the, running the actual department. So um, I'd be happy to walk around and answer any questions you guys got, and it's a pleasure to be out here today. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Deputy Chief William Gordon. I started here in Deerfield. I went to Deerfield Elementary School, which was right over here. I, this, this area is very well known to me. I lived on Grave Street, just over on the other side of these houses. My best friend's mom is here in the audience, so from, from uh, grammar school. I got my first traffic vest to direct traffic as a fifth grader in Deerfield Elementary, and my post was right over there. So I helped, I helped cross the kids. But really, I owe my entire career to Sharon. Sharon, when I was in fifth grade, drove me to the, drove me to the Greenfield Police Department. I still remember to the day I was a little lad. I looked up and they, they had this giant desk and on top of the giant desk was an even bigger police officer and I was like, wow, that is just what I want to do. So I really do owe my career to her. I always go back to that. I helped her out over in this building right here. Um, Officer Ravish and I helped her out with, um, uh, what was it, Police Explorers? They were police ex Deerfield Police Explorers and yep. uh, Blake Gilmore started that troop along with John Carney, myself, and that's right. spent many years out there training these guys, and yes, they were in crosswalks. Yes, <laughs> a lot of our police officers start in communities such as Greenfield and, I mean, such as Deerfield and Sunderland and, and Waitley. My family ended up moving over to Sunderland. I, I was a Sunderland police officer there. I graduated Frontier in 1989 with Sergeant Ravish. So uh, we moved over to Sunderland, and really, uh, same thing with Officer uh, Sergeant Ravish is that we were like I was anybody that takes me right. So the, the Greenfield grabbed me first, so they won. I'm not sure if what kind of contest it was, but they won. So um, I went over to Greenfield and uh, I started my career there, and I worked for the volunteer fire departments and ambulances and all of that. So I feel 
it deep in my heart, this is my hometown. So I wanted to come back and say hi. So knowing that, as I grew in the police department, I wanted to start forming relationships, better relationships with the surrounding departments. And Greenfield was always kind of by itself. We have our own radio station, so we never talk to any other towns. And, and it's not the type of department we want to be. We want to be a more community type of department, Franklin County being our community, not Greenfield. So we started reaching out to other departments, and one of the first departments that jumped in with us was Deerfield. And we entered into a relationship with what's called a, um, a co-responder clinician, which is a mental health clinician that goes in our police cars and responds with us. Because we, we may be the jacks of all trade. We may be able to be do, do everything. If you need some problem, you call 911, we're going to help fix it. But we're not the masters of all of these things. I mean, we're really good at a lot of them, but we're not the masters. So we thought it would be good to take a clinician, somebody that's been in school for six, eight years. We just hired a doctor to come in, and, and they are the masters. So we're going to bring the masters with us. We started that with Deerfield and Montague. So if you ever had a, a situation, maybe a family member that needed some help, it's not just the police officer that shows up, it's also a clinician. So we're really happy with that. A lot of people may know me as well as being Officer Clarence or Officer Donut's handler. And I apologize, Officer, we were trying to get Officer Donut here. Uh, he has been transferred over to my wife who also works for the department. So she's a full-time handler when I got promoted. So she is with him. She may make an appearance, no promises. I hear it's really busy in Greenfield. But she did bring Officer Donut out with her today. He's in the car. Hopefully he'll be able to get here, but I was hoping to be here by now. So you might see him, but it's starting to get really humid and he likes to drool <laughs> really bad. I've had a lot of St. Bernard's and this one drools all the way to the ground. So, um, so when it gets hot, he, he kind of gets put away, but it's kind of shady. It's not so bad. So we're going to try to get him here, but no promises. I will be around. If anybody has any questions about Greenfield, I'll be more than happy to answer them or just about us or just having a regular conversation. I had a nice conversation with the gentleman about radios. Where did he go? Right there. We yeah. had a nice conversation. Yeah. So thank you very much for having us and thank you very thank much for you. starting a lot of our careers. So. I, I got one thing because you brought that up. How many people in here listen to us on the scanner? Couple? Couple? There's going to be some changes in that, so see one of us, we'll let you know. You're going to have to start listening to it on your iPad within the next year. Oh, oh wow. Or buy a really, really expensive scanner. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. The other thing is, I have up here, thanks to my daughter, Becky Pacherik, that works at the Sheriff's Department, and she also works up in the Irving Senior Center and helps people like you. She today gave me file of lives. Everybody here know what a file of life is? If you don't have one, get it, put it on your refrigerator. So when these people are trying to get in your house to help you along with EMS, they can grab this and your information's on there for them. This was a nice surprise from Becky this morning. And what it is, it's a sleeve to uh, slide your COVID ID in. It protects it. So there's some up here. I'll ask the triad people to, to give out what they have. And hopefully I can get more if we don't have enough. And thank you all for being here today. But thank you for these guys that protect us every day. Thank you, Sharon. Yes, thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. You're welcome.